Hi, I'm Chef Alex. Today we're going to talk about smash burgers. So, very briefly, I've been seeing a lot online. They're very popular now. Uh, essentially, what you're doing is you take a ball, put it on a, a flat top griddle, and then you take a flat wide spatula and smash it down like you would in a um, in a diner um, now I can see how this is caught on because it leaves a a crispy burger which is it's very nice nice flavored um, this was a way of extending meat this was not uh, a new recipe this is simply you know we have three and a half ounces instead of four so flatten it out nice and wide and make it crispy and it'll be nice so a smash burger um, born out of necessity um, yummy delicious uh, one of the nice burger recipes. So my advice is when you're cooking your smash burger, okay, the first thing you have to do is get your griddle to temperature. All right? Get it hot. Because if it's not hot, your burger, first your burger is going to steam and it won't, it won't come out right. You need it to be hot. So that when you get on the grill, you want it to stick, stick. And eventually you put a, you know, you can put a lid on it for a few seconds and it, it'll unstick itself. And if not, well, that's what the pointy end of the spatula is for. So you can unstick it. <laughs> that's what we used to do. So if it's stuck, we just unstuck it. And you just turn around and flip it. And it comes out really, really nice. Now, I'm going to give you a tip. When, you're, when you put your burger down, okay, you need to have everything ready. You can't be sautéing onions, starting to sauté onions, when you put your burger down. Your onions need to be sautéed. They need to be blackened, whatever. If you have sliced onions and you're looking to put marks on them somehow, those need to, that all needs to be done before you put the burger on, okay? The smash burger only takes a few seconds. It's not going to take very long at all. So if it if you have to if you have to slide it out, put it on the bun, and then let it sit somewhere, and stay warm, it's not going to be completely fresh. So timing is absolutely critical with a smash burger. Okay. So you want sautéed onions? Sauté your onions on the side of the griddle. Put them on the cold spot. Our green peppers. Sauté those too. Put them in the cold spot. Just slide it over the cold spot of the griddle. And then the hot spot, you make your burger. Warm up your bread before you put your burger down. Hmm? Warm the bread up. Slide it over to the side. And I mean everything. So that you're what we call mise en place. Everything is in its place. Before. Okay? So that the burger, the star of the show, doesn't have to wait for any of the other stuff. Remember that. Your burger's the star of the show. So everything else has to be done, ready. You can saute onions and you can microwave them for 35, 45 seconds. And get them hot. And then put them on your bun if you have to. You know? I mean, it, you don't have to have everything on the griddle ready like that. You know, you're not in a restaurant. So use your microwave. Use the things that you have. But have it all ready before the burger is done. Before the burger goes on the griddle, I would have everything ready. I w in fact, the way that I usually do things is I have the burger already dressed with everything I need and I have it covered on a little on a side of the griddle. So when the burger is ready, when the cheese is melted on top of my my cheeseburger, I can slide it up 
and just slide it onto the already warm bread and put the cover on it, and I'm ready to go out. Okay? And you can have, if you have a, you know, a semi-large enough griddle, you can have many of these burgers ready at the same time. So your entire party can eat at the same time. All right? So good luck. Enjoy your smash burgers. And remember, learn to cook, and you'll eat better for the rest of your life. We'll talk again.